Good Thursday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this July 25th. And um, mark this day, July 25th. It was 25 years ago today that I started my second round here at WBKO. Yep, it's uh, it's my 25th anniversary. Um, now, when I was, I was, I actually worked here a couple of years before uh, my past 25 years that I've worked here. I actually started in 1986 and worked here for about a year and a half. Then I left. Uh, was working behind the scenes doing. Uh, writing commercials, shooting, editing video. Um, it didn't do weather at all. That that was my ultimate goal, but I didn't do weather at all. Then I left for several months and uh, went back into radio, which is uh, I did a lot of radio work before I got into television. And then uh, I was actually called back here to WBKO. Uh, to take over what's called the promotion department. And that was the initial reason I was hired back in 1988 uh, to take over uh, station promotion and marketing. And so I did that, came back July 25th, 1988, and uh, it was a few months later in November, actually close to my birthday, that I did my first weathercast on the weekends. But today marks uh, my 25th anniversary, the second time, (laughs) or the second go-around, or my second uh, streak of employment here at WBKO. So a pretty neat milestone, and, uh, you know, it's been good. It's been real good, and we're going to keep going. All right, as far as the weather is concerned, uh, nice stuff here. You know, for the end of July, we talked about it yesterday, feeling more like the end of September, according to the numbers, 82, just 82 was our high temperature yesterday. 90 is where we're supposed to be for an average, so we were 8 degrees below average. 68 was our low, and that's exactly where we're supposed to be for a low temperature. 98 and 78 were the extremes one year ago. Man, what a difference from last year to this year. No rainfall, of course, last 24 hours. Still holding at being the fifth wettest July on record for Bowling Green. Sunny, pleasant today. Much like yesterday, 83 with a northeast wind at 7, low humidity levels. You can breathe. Mainly clear and cool tonight. We're going to go, I'm going to go with a low temperature even for Bowling Green of 58. I was just looking at some of the dew points, computer forecast models. I think 58 could be our low temperature by early tomorrow morning. I mean, just spectacular for this time of the year. Now tomorrow for Friday, mostly sunny, still very pleasant, 85. Wind still out of the northwest, a little more of a westerly wind on Saturday, and with that will come a weak cold front that could spark a few isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms Saturday afternoon. Now, don't we've got the the, uh, Darius Rucker concert that's going on, Stuff the Bus, National Corvette Homecoming. There's a lot of stuff going on, and Saturday is a big day. Um, A a chance of a shower is possible, but it's not going to be a washout or rain all day. 30% chance that you would get rained on Saturday. That's not a big chance, but that front will be making its way through. And with that, will come a second bonus round, if you will, of less humid air for Sunday in the beginning of next week. Sunny 83 on Sunday, mostly sunny 83 Monday. And then uh, 
Tuesday into Wednesday of next week, uh, a little bit more unsettled weather starts to move back in. 30% chance of a shower Tuesday with a high of 86, and we warm back to 88 with a 40% chance of showers by Wednesday, the last day of July. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky and streaming live to WBKO.com.